I all just thought I'd uh, quickly run through after having a little look at how to use the Keystep Pro to alter settings on the Proteus, such as like the filter cutoff, air resonance, and uh, glide or anything else really. Um, roughly how I've set it up and how it may help you. Um, so I'm just on standard patch, uh, a checking master. Uh, scroll through to the real-time controllers. Each real-time controller has a letter designation. So here we're on A on the Proteus 2000, um, B, C and D. And obviously on the Proteus, if you press this little button there, you can change through the three banks of four controllers. Next thing to do is check the uh, real-time controller number Hash is speaking about this CC number, which is the continuous control the number, as I understand it. Make a note of that. Um, come out of the master edit, go into the voice edit, and look for patch chords. So scroll through the different options until you get to patch chords. If we go back to number one, uh, mod wheel, LFO put switch MIDI A. So here we've got MIDI A. Now as remember, real-time controller number is A is 21. Uh, just swapping, swapping between the master and the edit buttons there. Um, so on the editing of the actual uh, preset, patch chords MIDI A is filter frequency plus 100. Now to set that up, so the uh, Keystep Pro will alter that in the same way that this um, control knob does. We press uh, Shift and Project, which gets us into Utilities. Maybe I should move this iPad down so it's easier for you to see. Uh, super professional editing going on here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So let's start again, exit out of there. So we've got the BPM display, we go to uh, shift and then press the um, shift and press the utility. And then we've got MIDI channels. And we'll scroll down to um, controller. There we go. Global MIDI channel, which is set at the moment to one, is it? Go to knob one. So this is where we set the CC number. So this is for, um, let's move this over a bit. This first knob, knob one. We're going to set that CC number by clicking. And at the moment you can see 2221. And that 21 is now current. Exit and exit, exit, exit. Put the iPad back on the stand. So that number 21 is now this number 21. That means that when the Keystep Pro is in control mode, which you press here, this first controller will do the same as this control knob on the Proteus. So a quick demo of that is if I play here, yeah, and then I alter it on the Proteus. Let's just drop the resonance off. Yeah, so all that's doing is opening and closing the filter. I've done the same thing here. Uh, controller for B. The uh, B knob up here is 22 and C is on 23. I've done the same on knob 1, 2 and 3 for the different uh, CC values. So that's now connected these buttons to do the same as these buttons up on the Proteus. 
Uh, what that means is, if I can get rid of that wire. Nope. Uh, what that means is, <laughs> gotta get rid of the wire. There we go. Anything we set up now in editing the preset in the patch cords will allow this MIDI A uh, MIDI A control knob to alter the filter frequency. And because the uh, CC number, the continuous controller number, on the Keystep Pro, excuse me, is the same number, CC number, he'll do the same as MIDI A. So, if I do the same thing now, to press controller. <laughs> we get the same result. Now the only difference is here, on the Proteus for example, it's a lot faster to change, so I can go whereas on the uh, Keystep Pro it's a lot harder to get the value to change fast. Now there is an option go to Utility, I'm not going to move the thing again to control it There we go, knob one. Just telling you what I'm doing here. Um, where's no, that's not in there, is it? Where is it? MIDI settings. Okay, so if I go Shift, press the project button, which is the utility menu under uh, MIDI settings. I can go to knob acceleration and you can have it on fast, medium or slow. If I put it on slow, as you can see that the button's spinning it quite a lot and it's not moving very far. Change that to fast and it's moving a bit further but not very not as fast as the controller. So it's just something to be aware of. Let's move on, I'm getting caught up in all that. So there we have it, MIDI A filter frequency. If we want it to affect something else, let me just change here the thing to affect. So the sample will be trigger and all that. Uh, we can do uh, pitch. Why is that not working now? Oh, not be. Nope. That's not. Um, never mind. Right. So it might be because the filter's closed and we can't hear it. So let's change that back to filter. Yeah. And then I'll change it to pitch. Anyway, you can hear it's altering the pitch. Uh, there's other issues with how the patch cords are set in other areas for the filter, etc., etc., which is why it was going quiet again. Uh, so there we have it. Um, that's what you do. Uh, MIDI B is the resonance. and I'll set MIDI C to glide. So you can play with that. Uh, there's absolutely tons more. don't want to make this video too long. It's already gone on for nearly 10 minutes. So that's an initial explore of how to get the Keystep Pro control buttons or control knobs, sorry altering values on the Proteus 2000.